Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm pretty much a homebody nowadays. Um, you know, if I'm not in the studio, I'm at home, you know, relaxing. I don't really go to a, cl- a lot of clubs um, anymore. And I don't know, my my life is weird. Like, and my career has been weird. And I, I've been fortunate because I'm not one of those cats, like, that do it all day, every day, and whatever. It's like... You know, I'm taking my daughter to ballet and, you know, I'm mm-hmm. I'm working, uh, you know, working the production stuff in, in between. And throughout mm-hmm. all that, I'm getting placements. And, like, last year was a dope year for me. I had um, Letter to Big by Jada Kiss. Um, I did uh, this Buster Rhymes joint called uh, We Miss You. I did Rock Kim single. Then I'm going in with Drake and uh couple joint I did a joint with Sky Zoo so it's like you know and then I got a, a lot of dope placements this year and it's just I, like I said I've, I've had a really weird career and it's not I don't I don't think it's orthodox I haven't I haven't done a lot of um a ton of me collaborating with cats but um but it, it's all kind of just work, you know what I'm saying? But I, I think that's why this uh, this project I've been working on, this, my, my artist Eclipse, I've been working on this project for about a year. And uh, I think it's, it's it's important for me because this is something that I've I've actually fully produced, you know what I mean? It's line for line, you know, every beat, every everything. So I'm putting a lot of stock in, 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 this, in this project. You mentioned a, a little bit a while ago about... Um being in New York and kind of moving there and seeing that as like the promised land. Do you remember like, was there any sort of one moment where you felt like it's like a really turning point in your career, like a certain beat or just a certain studio session where you felt like, Oh, I've really made it now. Like, um, you know, I, I remember the first time, you know, um, I mean, it was big for me. I, I, um, I, uh, I, w- I went to school, I went to NYU for grad school and you know, I made this big jump by leaving, leaving campus and uh uh and moving into harlem and i just remember um after i did this uh this my first placement with this for the drag on uh, i remember walking down the street and hearing somebody just blast in my joint it was and <laughs> that's gotta be the that, was like, that was like that was like best feeling ever you know what i'm saying to hear somebody just blasting Hell the yeah. joint that you just made you know what i'm saying um that was a dope feeling. Another, I'm trying to think of some memorable moments. Um, it, you know, Kanye coming, me and Kanye kicking it, him coming to my crib, we swapping drums. Wow. You know, just kicking it with Kanye for a couple of days. You know, <laughs> I thought just, you were going to say uh, hours. You said days. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys yeah, were swapping was, stuff for a while. Yeah, no, it was a couple of days. Cause it, it was ill just because, you know, we, uh, I think my manager hooked us up. We, we met, you know, um, you know, obviously he was, he was killing it at the time, and and um, you know he knew I had some hot drums. We swapped drums and went to a couple of sessions uh, with him, and it was just it was it was it was amazing just just riding riding with him, and you know his, his song would come on the radio, and it just would be nothing to him. <laughs> like it, it it was it was like he was so he was like a veteran you know at the time and and it was what was crazy was i was kicking with him and this other dude that was um he was like i was sitting in the front he was always like in the back or whatever and i never really knew his name or whatever i was a big uh tribe called quest fan at the time and uh, one of my favorite albums of theirs is beast rhymes in life and i was just you know, just kicking with him and the other dude. I never knew that guy's name until like a couple of years later. I just, it was kind of, I didn't realize it was a consequence. Oh man. <laughs> and it was just like the illest, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> it was weird because I was a big fan of, um, I was a fan of, fan of that album, but I never saw as many videos with him in it or it just never clicked with me. You know, that was consequence. But, um, yeah, man. I mean, New York, New York was a, um, I was there like, I, I got in the industry when people were still selling a lot of albums and New York was still 
still um, popping. Uh, a lot of my friends, like I, one of my good friends, his name is Bink. He, he does. He's done a lot of stuff over the years. And he, he keeps telling me that I'm, I missed it. I missed it where, <laughs> when uh, I missed all the money when, oh, um, you know, when, when you'd have to, people would have to cut you the check before you would even, you know, for them to, for you to leave the CD and everything. It was, it was, you know, it was a crazy time in New York. But um, I'm trying to think of some other. Some other memorable um, moments, man. It, it was just dope being in being in uh, being in Sony Studios and just studio happened. You know, right. we would just get in and just kind of crash sessions. I mean, that's sessions. gotta be amazing. It's gonna be so much, so many stories you got, like just different things in the city. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. New York, New York is the illest. Like, I'm in Atlanta now, and it's kind of because, kind of because where the industry is right now. But I, I mean, I really want to move back to. You know, New York, New Jersey area is just, it's just, um, it's just, it's, it's harder living up there, you know, especially for, for that, uh, a cat like me with, with, fam- with a, you know, a family and all that stuff. So, right, right. I mean, yeah, we'll see though. And so before we uh, wrap up, just want to bring it back to Michigan really quick. Uh, one of the recent beats you did was like a collaboration with the Olympics, um, who mm-hmm. are from around here. So, just want to like explain how how that came about for Donis's song um, called "Gone." Yeah, I um, there's a cat out of the group. Uh, his name was BP. Uh, you guys know P- who PL is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I was up there working on uh, stuff for PL. Uh, this is man. This I don't know how long ago. Maybe about three years ago, two or three years ago. Okay. And um, BP. One of the guys from the Olympics had this. It had this beat. I think it was his ringtone. And um, I was like, "Yo, that's a dope beat. Like, like, what is that or whatever?" And he, you know, he played it for me, and and uh, he actually sent me the beat. And I was like, "Yo, I really want to. I mean, I think this could be a dope record. You know, I want to, um, you know, kind of spice it up and get it sounding, sounding right." And uh, I did that, and I, I just kind of had the beat for a while i actually put it on a a beat cd for um for little wayne and uh on that beat cd i had i'm going in beat i had yeah. the Donis record i had like uh man that buster rhymes joint was on there all on this one beat cd basically i gave wayne the beat cd and he just took it and did a song to every one of them and just put it out and at the time I was pissed <laughs> but but out of that came uh, I'm going in and right. if you watch the Little Wayne documentary you will see you will hear that same beat that Gone beat um, in the background he's rapping on that beat in that in that joint but I think um, uh, maybe about six months later um, one of my partners brought Donna's through and you know we we've uh, you know we had a we kind of hit it off and uh, I, I gave him that record and you know and he loved it and I think the song was real dope I know that um, I know that um, you know they shot the video the video should be coming out soon and um, you know I think they just, they just did a joint in uh, was it in uh, in, uh, in Austin oh, or whatever South with, with, with uh, Travis Barker playing the drums all over it and oh, you know I think oh. it could be a big like record and you know shout out to Olympics it definitely wouldn't happen without the Olympics they or it, I, I would really say BP. BP out of the Olympics is the one that you know. This is before they were even the Olympics or whatever. So um, you know, BP really. Um, he did. I say you know he did a majority of that beat. Oh, okay. But it's it's but what's the, the funny thing is is you know the cat the cats are always going to take the bigger name and put it on the blogs or whatever mm. just because they, they at the time they didn't know. Who the Olympics are, or whatever. But every time, every time I talk about the record, I kind of shout them out and uh, make sure they get their their credit because they definitely, you know, you know, was a big part of that record. So, right, right. So, but look at and look out for Donna. It's another cat I'm, I'm working with too. I got um, a lot of stuff with him coming out. Yeah, needles. Come on in, shout it, welcome to the highlight. P 
DJ, I ain't talking about the Miller Lite. Taylor Fit, put on your shoes, we going out.